remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Inside the Niger Delta is reaching you today from outside the studios and indeed outside the shores of Nigeria, where inside the Niger Delta is taking part in a meeting. And now let's get down to brass tacks. A new dialogue window has opened for possible reconciliation of feuding groups in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, where members of the party's board of trustees conferred with Governor Yesom Wike in Port Harcourt, the River State capital. In this report, correspondent Tekena Milfori takes a look at the prospects for reconciliation as the party's board of trustees, led by former Senate President Adolphus Wabara, moves to reconcile the warring Wike and Atiku factions of the party as Wike takes on Atiku supporters in River State ahead of the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. The PDP Board of Trustees, led by its acting chairman, Senator Adolfo Swabara, last week held a meeting behind closed doors with Governor Yesom Wike in Port Harcourt. While addressing reporters, Governor Wike had expressed his commitment to an amicable resolution of the internal crisis rocking the PDP. The genesis of the crisis dates back to April this year, when the party dumped its power rotation principle and decided to keep the May 28, 2022 presidential primaries open to all eligible contestants to test their popularity. The party had acknowledged that, based on its constitutional power rotation principle, its presidential ticket was to be zoned to the south in 2023. It, however, noted that the decision to jettison the zoning arrangement was informed by exigencies of the time. Although the party's final position on zoning was roundly condemned by southern groups as awful and disappointing, it had gone ahead with an open presidential primaries which produced former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, a northerner from Adamawa State, as its presidential candidate. Governor Wike, an advocate of power rotation who also vied for the PDP presidential ticket came out of the primaries, alleging foul play in the process that produced Atiku as presidential candidate of his party. Wike, who governs River State, one of Nigeria's swing states in the south, later demanded that the PDP national chairman, Senator Iyocha Ayu, who is also a northerner, should resign and pave way for the emergence of a southern chairman of the party. This demand, according to Wiki, would ensure balance of power in the PDP as it prepares to unseat the ruling All Progressives Congress APC in next year's presidential election. Before the recent intervention of the BOT members of the PDP, Governor Wiki had vowed to deal decisively with politicians in River State found to be romancing with his arch rival Atiku Abubakar. The moment you claim to be working with us, and tomorrow you shift our enemy. We will take every might to have. We will even leave our enemy and finish you first. So all of you who are going back to Abuja to hold meeting with our enemies in this state, I'm going to finish you to the last. Some 48 hours after the BOT members left Port Harcourt, the River State House of Assembly passed a resolution last Thursday asking Governor Wiki to de-recognize Sir Celestino Mehia, an ally of Atiku Abubakar, as a former governor of River State, citing the Supreme Court judgment in Amechi v. Einek, which holds that Rotimi Amechi and Noto Mehia was the governorship candidate of the PDP in 2007, and that Omehia was never a governor in the eyes of the law. The recent resolution resents an earlier resolution by the River State House of Assembly on the 30th of June 2015, calling on Governor Wiki to recognize Omeya as a former governor of River State and restore his privileges and fringe benefits. In the resolution passed by 21 members of the River State House of Assembly, Omeya is requested to refund over 696 million naira he received as fringe benefits and pension over a period of roughly seven years. With this development, it is doubtful if the PDP will make much headway in ongoing efforts to reconcile warring factions within its fold anytime soon. According to Dr. Edwin Jonathan, a lawyer based in the Niger Delta, the PDP is only flogging a dead horse after failing to nip in the board 
unavoidable crisis that now threatens to tear it apart. It is not the kind of election you go with a tattered house, with a divided house. They mismanage the crisis. They have to work extra hard. Few months back, Governor Wiki had descended heavily on other political allies of Atiku in River State, including Right Honorable Austin Okbara, a former deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, and Senator Lee Maeba, who has been relieved of his position as chairman governing council of the Elichi Amadi Polytechnic. While Wiki's intent is clearly expressed in his actions, it is believed that the Atiku camp also has an ace up its sleeve. In 2015, the PDP, Nigeria's main opposition party, lost power to the ruling APC on account of internal bickerings, leading to the defection of five state governors to the APC. Some eight years after, the PDP's planned return to power is threatened by dissenting voices, including five state governors and notable founding members of the party. With only a few months into the forthcoming presidential election slated for February next year, the party is in a race against time to reconcile two rival factions led by Atiku and Wiki respectively. It is for the party a true test of its capacity for conflict resolution, which it describes as a familiar terrain. However, unfolding events in the weeks ahead will definitely bring to the fore the party's ability to brave all odds and get its acts together in readiness for next year's presidential election in Nigeria. Inside the Niger Delta, 